Okay, finally at the parents. be doing is I'm gonna be doing my makeup super quick at the pyramids because number one it is hot number two it's weird of me to do this and number three there are people everywhere trying to sell me shit so if you hear yelling if you hear lots of Arabic because they're trying to make a monument out of me I just realized right now I don't have a mirror <laughs> so I get to be using this teeny tiny little mirror but we're gonna make it happen we're gonna make it work this is more for you than it is for me. I'm gonna look beautiful by the end. Well, I had a wonderful, <clears throat> wonderful time trying to get out of Saudi Arabia. It ended up that I had 12 bags that I had to check and three cats and two flights to get on from Riyadh to Jeddah, then Jeddah to Cairo and the wonderful Saudi lady didn't book flights all the way for my cats so she only booked the flight half the way so at 3 a.m. there was no plane for my cats to get on among other problems but we're here we made it it's all good and we're doing our makeup like a bunch of weirdos around here so since I've arrived in Egypt, I haven't really set up my film space, so this is kind of an impromptu video to carry me through and get me started with filming in Egypt, because nothing in my house is ready. Like, my house is ready, but my filming space is not. So yeah, my filming space isn't set up at all, so since my wonderful, supportive boyfriend is here to defend me while I try to do this because this is not easily done. <laughs> I decided, you know, it'd be fun to take you guys on a little trip. We're going out and we're gonna film by the pyramids. This is not easily done. There is a carriage driver bound and determined to get in the video and also get our money. He doesn't even know that I speak Arabic yet. Yeah, we, he doesn't know we speak Arabic. Mauridic. So? Mauridic. What's that? I don't want you. Uh. <laughs> but full stop. My wonderful boyfriend is here to help me. This is the only way this is possible. Don't, don't do this. If you ever come visit, don't do this. I received a couple questions about Egypt and like how to dress, what to do, where to go. And I also wondered if eventually you guys would be interested in a video on that. Um, that's something I'm happy to talk about because this is not a user-friendly country. <laughs> it just isn't. I have distinctive suggestions on what to do and what definitely, definitely don't do. First of all, don't do this, but enjoy while we're here. I haven't bought a single piece of makeup since I landed in Egypt, Why? not a one. I've been, I've been busy setting up my house, getting my cats settled and just kind of recalibrating, honestly. <laughs> nope. Go. <laughs> um, maybe later. We will take you on a camel ride in a little bit. That's the plan anyway. I fully look crazy. <laughs> also, my makeup is just melting off my face. It's, it's not that hot, but it's just... Good we're in the shade. Yeah, it's good we're in the shade. The Egyptians don't know what we're doing. I'm trying to 
see if they can capitalize on this situation, but they don't understand what's happening. <laughs> if you are in humidity, if you have oily skin, oh gosh, where did we go? I have found a winning combination. If you're in humidity, this, the Herborian CC Red Correct in conjunction with the Catrice True Skin Concealer, so good, so, so good. I have been wearing it in so much humidity. I've been wearing it in Lebanon. This is just what I did in Lebanon. I even can use this with my fingers. And I had used this before. Like I used this when I very first started doing makeup in like 2019. And I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my be all end all. And I got the big bottle. Don't get the big bottle. It goes bad. So get the small bottle, it costs less. If you have a lot of makeup, if you don't wear makeup every day, but you want just a nice tint, this is great. But don't get the full bottle, you don't need it. And it will go bad, and then you'll be like, wow, this sucks. This is the top 10 weirdest thing I've ever done. <laughs> so, Lebanon. Speaking of Lebanon, Lebanon's great. <laughs> go to Lebanon. Lebanon's great. Um, I really enjoyed it. We went to an event. I'll be inserting some clips in theory here. I don't even know. Some stressful makeup fam this is this is this is some stressful makeup today so like I mentioned I didn't get any new makeup at all in June or July so I'm I guess what you would call on a no buy right now um, everything I've checked about shipping to Egypt is like $50 per shipment and that doesn't even include the cost when it gets here so I have to pay customs when it gets here so whatever I buy has to be extremely intentional and I you know just may not choose to do it that way I may choose to ship it home ship it to my boyfriend then have my boyfriend bring it or send it well you know any any of the above because that is just not cool <laughs> that is just not how it should work but i kind of knew this going in so it's not the, the biggest deal it's just going to make me more intentional about what i buy and to be honest like i've been setting up my house there's just greater priorities right now before makeup which i'm sure everyone can understand but some things that are new that are new, that are not makeup related. Uh, I got my Botox. I got a new tattoo. <laughs> my mom was here. She was here visiting and helping me set up the house. That was really nice. After the harrowing experience of trying to get everything out of Saudi Arabia, we kind of just chilled. And then after the excitement and thrill of Lebanon as well, my boyfriend and I have just kind of been chilling. Also, he's been sick as fuck. So, this guy doesn't know what to do. This cop looking at me, he doesn't understand. <laughs> Is this legal? Do we, do we get in on this? No, no sir. This is certainly not the best makeup I've ever done in my entire life, but this is just for you. Hopefully you can forgive me for having bad makeup today. All right, thanks for watching this quick little update video. I know it was all over the place and my makeup looks insane, but I did this for you. I did this for you. So in case you're never able to come visit, you've at least seen it through the lens of me and makeup and yeah, enjoy. I hope you have a good day and I will see you next time.